Welcome back to the second part of the video. If you haven't watched the first part yet, click on the button on the top right corner of the video. But before that, if you have any preferable topics that you want us to cover next, let us know in the comments below. The person whose topic piques our interest will get a shout out in that video. Without further delay, let's dig in. The City of Troy The search for the legendary city of Troy has long eluded archaeologists its fame anchored in the Trojan War's mythic tale, a contest for the captivating Helen and the strategic Trojan horse. A century ago, a pioneering archaeologist claimed Troy's discovery, but skepticism lingered as matching clues to the story proved challenging. Recently, a team revisited the site, unearthing dramatic and contentious findings over 15 years. While Troy's existence remains uncertain, the archaeological team's work at Hisarlik may finally offer resolution. Investigating the site, however, poses formidable challenges, leaving the question of Troy's reality and its standing in the annals of history still shrouded in mystery. Story of Troy The tale of Troy, immortalized over two and a half millennia ago in the epic poem The Iliad, a melange of poetry, song, and drama, depicts haunting scenes of destruction and massacre. Penned by Homer in the 7th century BC, the narrative unfolds some 500 years after the alleged events, leaving room for skepticism about its historical accuracy. The Iliad's fantastical nature is further compounded by the prevalence of wars and similar sites in the region. In 1871, adventurer and self-styled archaeologist Heinrich Schliemann claimed discovery at Hisarlik in northwest Turkey, sparking controversy as Frank Calvert asserted stolen research and credit. Today, archaeologist Donald Easton Immersed in his Arlix excavations, delves into Schliemann's life and work, unraveling the enigma surrounding Troy's authenticity. Schliemann's findings Schliemann's quest for Troy began with a bold excavation, a massive trench cleaving through the site's core, a drastic approach that would yield unexpected treasures. Over two decades, Schliemann unearthed not one but nine settlements, layered upon each other, stretching back over five millennia to 3000 BC. Culminating in a great trench, Schliemann struck gold literally in the earliest layer, which he believed dated to the time of the Trojan War. Displayed at the Berlin Museum, this treasure ignited a sensation, seemingly confirming Troy's legendary existence. However, by Schliemann's death in 1890, doubts arose and his claim crumbled. In 1945, Soviet troops seized the treasure, reappearing 50 years later in Moscow's Pushkin Museum. While a fantastic hoard of early Bronze Age jewelry, Schliemann's treasure remains inconclusive in definitively establishing Troy's historic reality. Kaufmann Kaufmann is one of the world's leading experts on the archaeology of ancient Turkey and has spent 30 years in the region. He's come to believe in the face of academic skepticism that his Salah and Troy are one and the same. Kaufmann's operation is called Project Troyer and it ranks among the largest, most expensive archaeological digs ever. Kaufmann faces the same challenge faced by his 19th century predecessor, Heinrich Schliemann. But Kaufmann remains confident we are in the position of putting the excavation of Schliemann in the right context. Skepticism regarding Hisarlik Doubters contended that Hisarlik wasn't sizable enough to be Troy, a suspicion shared by Kaufmann, echoing Schliemann's uncertainty. Employing magnetic prospecting, Kaufmann's team detected fluctuations in the Earth's magnetic field, revealing Hisarlik's greater extent. This innovative method acted as a magnetic radar, unveiling city streets from both the Bronze Age and Roman periods. The survey exposed a substantial structure encircling the Bronze Age section, a massive bedrock cut ditch. The excitement surged, speculating it could be the late Bronze Age lower town fortifications. The ditch's vast enclosure surpassed the original site, prompting the question. Did Schliemann overlook this expansive city, hidden until now? Population. Estimates suggest Hisarlik housed around 5 to 10,000 people. Comparing its excavation with other Bronze Age sites paints a picture of a sophisticated city, featuring stone battlements, towers, and multi-story buildings. 
these ruins align with the scale and sophistication expected of Troy. However, a discrepancy emerges as Hisarlik's location doesn't match Homer's ancient account of the Trojan War, introducing a challenge to the identification of Hisarlik as the legendary Troy. City Economy In the Iliad, Troy is depicted as a prosperous port, yet the current excavation at Hisarlik, northwest Turkey, lies over four miles inland from the sea. Seeking resolution, archaeologist Manfred Kaufmann employed a deep bore drill akin to a geological history book. Each sediment layer unveils the region's past, and at about 20 meters, marine sediments emerge beneath the farmland, indicating a submerged landscape. This finding suggests that 3,000 years ago, during the supposed Trojan War era, the site may have been a coastal area, water source. Scholars, finding no references to Troy in archaic Greek writings, faced a breakthrough when Kaufman's team unearthed an astonishing artifact, a small bronze seal inscribed with two names. Dating to around 1100 BC, this unique discovery provided the only written evidence at the site. The hieroglyphs on the seal, from a now obscure language in Western Turkey, offered unexpected support for Kaufman's research. Additionally, the excavation unveiled an underground stream a common freshwater source for ancient cities, further enriching the archaeological findings. Let's not drag this video any longer. We will be posting another part of this video with the remaining cities. Make sure to like, subscribe, and press the bell icon not to miss any future updates. See you next time.